So after reading the 9,000 plus word twab that come out, I caught one line in there that really got my attention. <clears throat> Machine guns are going to be receiving a 40% damage increase to PvE enemies and 20% to bosses. Minus Xenophage, but that's getting its fire rate brought back up and, it, and its damage slightly turned down, but it's going to get a 20% damage increase to bosses. Guys, we're looking at a potential Season 17 Machine Gun meta, and I'm going to give you my four picks for what I think are going to be the hot items to look for for Season 17. It's going to be two Legendaries and two Exotics. So the first one is an old Nightfall favorite of mine that I actually got that I'm really proud of is the Swarm. All right, now this one is the Adept. It has Arrowhead Break, Chambered Compensator, Accurized Rounds, Alloy Mag, and this one actually got lucky and rolled with Bottomless Grief and Outlaw and Vorpal Weapon. And this one has a Stability Masterwork. Now, with this being Adept, it can also take mods like Adept Big One Spec, so it's really nice. All right. Anyway, the Swarm. As you see in the background gameplay, it bounces a little bit, but not too bad. Really fun gun to use overall. Hits like a freight train for a legendary. And honestly, with Bottomless Grief, it's really, really gnarly on this gun. It does a lot of work on this gun. Alright. <clears throat> Damage based shot was about 2,142 for my initial testing. And the Adept version, like you're seeing there and you saw in the perk listing, can have multiple perks that you can swap from so the gun is very versatile and it feels like a fast firing scout rifle in a sense but with a lot of ammunition added to it all right Oliverians can roll with bottomless grief if you have one with bottomless grief you know now would be time to take it out and get it ready for season 17 just saying all right the recoil it like you're seeing here does bounce around a bit it is a bit erratic but once you put on a that big one spec, this thing hits like a sledgehammer. Okay. So, Season 17, with this thing getting a 40% damage increase overall, you are going to be tearing through red bar enemies like they're nothing. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'll just been acting to bother me a little bit. But anyway. With the bottomless grief, though, as you're seeing there, and get like a backup mag mod or something on it you're going to have about 70 browns in the magazine that's going to be a lot of damage you're going to be putting out in a matter of seconds all right now on top of that with the 40 percent damage increase to bosses stack that with something like a boss spec mod this thing is going to be an absolute monster for legendary this is a legendary mind you all right and I'll be, yes, the regular one can roll with uh, Bottomless Grief as well. So keep that in mind. But it won't be able to take Big One Spec. Now, this next one is going to come as a shocker. I had a couple to choose from, but I picked this one for one reason. It's a newer one, and it's readily accessible. The Recurrent Impact. Mine here has Accurized Rounds, Fluted Barrel, Appended Mag, Alloy Mag, Substance, Focused Fury, the Land Tank Origin Trait there, alright, and I put a backup mag on it, and a Handling Masterwork. Guys, 1016 damage per shot, and this thing is a bullet hose, okay? 900 rounds a minute, it has the same fire rate as air, but in a legendary form, not as much ammo, and recoil, honestly... It bounces a little bit. It's not too erratic, but you can keep the gun on target pretty well. It's a pretty stable gun. All right. And with it being stasis, it can work with your stasis builds. And it can roll with headstone. A friend of mine who does a lot more <clears throat> dabbling in stasis builds, he said that he's got one that rolls with heads that rolls with headstone. And he does some really wild stuff with the stasis builds with that. Because, I mean, you start getting kills with that, you're going to start popping up stasis crystals left, right, and center. And with this getting a, also the 40% damage increase, this thing is going to just shred just large groups of enemies. Alright, and the 20% boss damage increase. I don't see the rapid fire frames being like really, really sought after for like, say, raid boss DPS. But I do see them for like 
higher tier nightfalls being a bit more sought after clearing out larger groups ads and potentially nightfall boss damage maybe not grandmaster but general overall ad clear and general overall minor damage it's like dealing with smaller ads where you can swap over to something else and say like a sniper and do your boss damage there or make a combination of the two and on top of that this being a legendary you can also still run something like say your sweet business or your fighting lions or something else like that all right now i picked two exotics all right these two exotics might surprise you one you're gonna be like well we already knew you were gonna pick that one so just get on with it but overall I could see the rapid fire frames like the recurrent impact being really good. Now, the first exotic I picked is an old, old, old friend of mine from Destiny 1. Alright? But you guys are ready. The Thunderlord. Polygonal rifling, air armor piercing rounds. Sorry about that. Lightning rounds. Just let y'all read that one. Alright? Feeding frenzy. and rain havoc okay this one had about 1859 per shot when I did my initial testing and guys the noise this thing makes when you fire it is heart is heart stopping enough your enemies are gonna know when you turn this thing loose alright as you're seeing in the background gameplay there rain havoc this thing causes lightning to come from the sky other than Cloud Strike, there's no other weapon in the game that can cause literal lightning bolts to come from the sky. This is what Thor would use if he had an LMG, okay? Alright. Bounces around a bit on the recoil. It is a bit more erratic. But one thing I do really like, though, is a sight picture on the gun. It is really easy to see. It's like a 3 times zoom as well. Now, it does have 62 round mag, but here's the thing with Thunderlord. It ramps up its own fire rate. All right, with lightning rounds, it will ramp its own fire rate up, which increase the amount of damage you're putting out. Which, by the way, I want to make something very clear, real quick. All of the gameplay you're seeing is done with an active war rig. Okay, so you see the guns are automatically reloading. That's because I'm using active war rig. That trigger did not like me using that, so he decided he was going to take me out one shot. Anyway, besides the point. Combined acting with any of these guns, these things are going to be absolutely brutal. Alright. Drop another hint there of another video I'm working on. It's just taking some time to get everything. But, besides the point though. Thunderlord, with its additional damage being done from the lightning bolts itself, this thing is going to be an absolute beast of a gun. This is one of the only machine guns in the game that has been able to one phase remove it. Okay, just think about that. Being able to one phase raid bosses already. Now, add that extra 20% damage buff on top of that. This thing is going to be a terror in Grandmasters. Raids. Alright. And combine that with stuff like Divinity, and you are going to be tearing through raid bosses like they're paper. Okay. So, I want you guys to take note of the carnage this gun is causing as well. To say the boss has a few ads around it, you start getting initial hits and everything. You start causing those lightning bolts to come down. I am not sorry for whatever is in the vicinity of what you hit. This gun is basically Odin coming down, and no. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, one thing though I do have to say though is the D1 Thunderlord, or Destiny 1 Thunderlord, it didn't have the lightning bolts. It just, it ramped up its own fire rate. But, with the ramping of the fire rate, it is going to cause a lot more damage to be output in a short amount of time. If you do run an action with this gun, I would recommend double machine gun reserves to give you more ammunition. Instead of just what you have on the gun already, and what you're seeing with on my Titan already. But, the next one, if you're familiar with the channel, and familiar with me as a person, as a Destiny player, you'll know my signature heavy weapon. If you've been living under a rock, you probably won't know. 
and I'm talking this baby right here, the air parent, corkscrew rifling, a pended mag, armor of the Colossus, and combat grip. With the catalyst, which makes the shield around the gun stronger. Okay. Just take note of that 900 rounds a minute in that magazine size. Okay. Now, 1,413 damage per shot, this off initial testing. The gun will not fire unless it is fully spun up, then you get a protective shield around you. Okay. That arc shield can be a positive and a negative. Alright, say you're doing like a raid or something with your team. That arc shield is going to come up around you and potentially block their shots as well. And block their visibility as well. So that's something you got to consider. Now, 900 RPM. That's recurrent impact, okay? 200 round magazine. Largest magazine of any machine gun in the game. Legendary or exotic, it don't matter. But when you do spin the gun up and you do get the arc shield, you are slowed a bit. You are not able to jump or mantle very well. You're not able to mantle at all, actually. Now, it does want to pull up some when you go to fire the gun, so just be wary of that. Alright? Now, I can kind of see this being an absolute just great boss killer alongside Xenophage. Except for something maybe like Sanctified Mind, because he's up in the air and a ways away from you. But I can see something like Riven, Morgoth, um, Tally maybe, Consecrated Mind. I can see this thing being absolutely insane in raids, in Grandmasters, even. Alright, with the added perk of the Arc Shield being more durable and partially reloading the magazine if it's broken. That's going to keep you in that fight longer, and if you have to go get a re revive on someone, that's going to give you that protection to do so. Alright. Just watch it. And good night. Okay. So you combine that, you combine that kind of relatively moderate damage with the high fire rate. This thing is going to tear through raid bosses like they are nothing. Alright, so guys, I really hope you found this informative, found this helpful. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Let me know down below what your picks are going to be, which ones you like, and which ones you thought I should throw in there. Alright. Now, I am going to say this though real quick though, guys. I'm going to kind of keep it real with you. Sorry I haven't been uploading as much as regularly as I should. I had to take a little, 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 little bit of a break. Just personal stuff happened, and I just needed to step away for a moment. But with the machine gun meta coming in, as what I'm seeing, I'm hoping Bungie does put like a mod or something in there to where we can use like an anti champion esque machine gun. Because that's going to really, really put them as highly sought after. Because as you guys know me, I'm a heavy machine gun user by heart of the air just because of how obnoxious this gun is this gun is just pure just chaos in a handheld form and I'm hoping that they put like a uh, anti-barrier machine gun or an unstoppable machine gun mod because that would make season 17 really really fun and for those machine gun users like myself this would make the nightfalls and raids and stuff a little bit more accessible and easier Instead of having to constantly switch armor pieces, switch mods, and all the other jazz. You, you, you guys know what I'm saying, right? Well, I'm really hoping they do something like that because that would really be a lot of fun. And potentially vary up the nightfalls a bit and vary up the strats a bit too, which honestly, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do. Alright. Now, I didn't cover the Grand Overture. Because the Grand Overture and the Xeno are not getting the 40% PV damage buff because they already hit like a train as is. And on top of that, with the Grand Overture having its uh, additional rockets, that thing is going to be a terror to deal with. Especially when it comes to being great. On top of that, of having the Catalyst as well. 
So yeah, that thing is going to be probably very, very sought after, especially when it comes to like seasonal machine guns and uh, certain higher tier activities like Master Wellspring, Master Vow, um, Raids even. There's a lot of really good options out there for machine guns, guys. Right now, I actually picked four. And honestly, there's so many others I could have chose from, especially in the rapid fire department, because there's a lot of good ones there, like your uh, Recurrent Impact, your uh, Shattered Cypher. I didn't cover the Archon's Thunder, even though that's an adaptive frame. And I did cover the usual suspects everyone talks about. A fine memorial and yeah, Archon Thunder, a fine memorial, and some of the others. Okay, I didn't cover those because those are already going to be well known. All right. Now, as for something like the Shattered Cipher, yes, it is going to work with your Void 3.0. So that's another one that you could throw in there as well. All right, if you want to pick it up, if you got it from Season of Splicer and you didn't know what to do with it, and you just put it in your vault, now you're welcome. Okay. But also, with stuff like Wellspring here and uh, Master Wellspring, those damage phases are going to be a lot shorter. Now, I'm also hoping, too, when they do this, that they are definitely going to, like I said, take into consideration, you know, champions to deal with. I mean, deal with them. Give a certain mods to deal with them. But anyway, guys, I really hope you found this informative, found this helpful. And as always, guys, y'all take care. Stay safe out there. Keep your guns loaded, your ghosts by your side. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. God bless y'all. Like and click those two links. And subscribe.